Hello, welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zimbirol. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at the ES6 modules that is now our template in Zim. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. If we press code here, here's our template. We hit copy, and we copy that template. Yay! Uh, how do we uncopy it? Okay, there we go. Let's have a look here. We have a script call with a type of module. Type equals module. That sometimes has quotes around it, but it doesn't matter. Then we're importing Zim from this location right here. Uh, the CDN on zimjs.org, version 00, Zim. You can put the .js in there if you need to. Note there's no script tag. So right here are the script tags of old. So we don't need to use those. And we were doing crystals, uh, which combined those two into one script called crystal. And that gave us a warning in the Chrome. So we said, oh, OK. So we've discontinued that. If you want to go scripts, then you need to do all your scripts again. But uh, we're hoping that you'll probably move over to module, which is very much like crystal. Basically, you're only going to see one line here for the most part. Well, let's go see what that looks like. That is uh, that location. Here's We're still on the code page. Down a little bit is the ES6 right here. So there's the CDN. We can find out information on the CDN. Shall we look there first? So this is a CDN, and here are our modules listed right there. So there's the Zim one that we used, but also Zim underscore game, Zim underscore physics, socket, cam, pizzazz, three, and test. So those are just like the crystals, um, as in we call them only once. Um, there are modules still available for Zim NFT 01. You basically take the 00 and turn it into 01, and you throw an NFT in front of it like that, and you add the underscore module before the JS. So we've shortened this basically. <laughs> Yay! Um, what else about it? Here is the info page on ES6. The other ones, by the way, the traditional scripts are still here. So there's the Zim CDN 00. Sorry, this might be really small on your screen. I can make it bigger for you. Uh, Zim underscore min. Okay, so it's there also in 00, but it's Zim underscore min as opposed to just Zim, which is for the module now. And then there's the docs. And then here are all the different um, other things that you can bring in. OK, so uh, much like before. But if we go to this ES6 info page, indeed, that's the same as, let's go back to the code page. It's the same as going ES6 right here, or script. Let's go ES6. And it's inside of the JavaScript 6 page right here about ES6 modules. So uh, this one here also shows the same thing, basically. There we are importing. Remember to set the module uh, and the type of the script. Normally, script tags don't have that, so you'll need to add that. In other words, if it doesn't work and it says, hey, cannot bring in this module or something like that, it's probably because you forgot if you were doing this manually or retrofitting an old one, you may have forgotten to do the type module. And there we have the import uh, like that. And then the rest is the same. Okay, here are is inf or here's information on the other types of modules. And you would call it Zim underscore game, Zim underscore physics, etc. There is a note here that the socket module currently still needs a script loaded first. So we're going to go take a look at a mini site um, in just a second. And in that, we'll show you all about this stuff. Here is the old script tags, or you could use Node Package Manager. And the script tags can be found blah, 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 blah. Not here, but on the code page. There's the script tags. Or if you're on the ES6 one right here, script tags. And that shows you how to load it in the old way. So here are the traditional scripts being loaded with our code. 
Here would be an example of doing one for, I think this one is physics. So we would have to load all four. We would load the CreateJS, the Zim min. We would load the Box2D, which is the physics engine. Then we would load the Zim physics um, helper library. So that's four scripts to, to do that. Whereas if you were using ES6 modules, it would be import Zim from Zim underscore physics right there. Zim underscore physics, and it would get all four of those things. And you're on your way. You could go dot add physics right there. Okay. All right. So that's an overview of it. There is right here. Sorry. There is this import examples right here. Import. So I'm clicking that now. And this is a little mini site filled with uh, each type. And you can, there's fun little things for them. There's a link back to the ES6 info. So this is the general Zim one. Here's a game one. Oh, look at that. You play a little game here. So that's game in there. Here's a physics one. Boingita, boingita, boingita. Here's a socket one. Uh, one viewer, if I open up another tab, it would say two viewers. Here's a 3JS one. A cam one, which is... Uh, I don't think it will work. Well, I'll try it, I guess. I think I've, I've got the cam. I've got the cam recording this now, so I'll do it. Here's pizzazz. So bringing in pizzazz. And then a test one. The test one calls local... Or no, not local files. calls the docs version. I have one that calls local files that allows me to edit the Zim files and see the, the results. But anyway, uh, the test one calls the docs version so that your comments would be, uh, or well, any errors and stuff like that would be proper line numbers so that help us out. All right, there they are. So what I'm going to do now is reduce here F11. And let's have a look at the code in behind these. We won't spend too much time looking into it. We won't see the code and how to build the things in there. Well, you're welcome to look at it, but rather just look at the tops of them here. So here's the top. Here they are. And here's the module. Uh, this is just bringing in the Zim. There it is. So type module, bring in Zim. And down here, we're just going ahead and using Zim. Okay. And an emitter, I think, is what we, we ran there. Yay. <clears throat> Here's the game one. So we make sure it's a module or script tag. No other tags up here. And then here it is. Import Zim from. Same thing except Zim underscore game. <laughs> You'll have to trust me. That's what that says. Zim underscore game. Physics. Zim underscore physics. So that brings in all the physics stuff. And we get to... Down in here, const physics is a new physics, okay? Because we've imported the underscore physics on there. Here's the socket one. So with socket, there's the note right here. We have the module, great. We bring in zim underscore socket, great. But we have to bring in a script tag right there to load socket IO. Um, what happened is this is zim socket works on a certain version of socket IO. And they're now doing modules on a higher version, but I can't remember. When we tried to bring in the module, it just didn't work. So uh, it's like, uh, whatever. We might try and get that fixed up at some point, but for now, for bringing in sockets, just bring in the script call and then import uh, zim underscore socket. We have the same problem with box2d. We couldn't load in box2d, that's our physics. We went in there and actually luck, uh, we're so lucky. I went, okay, well, where could this error be? Let's see, if I comment this out, will it then load the module? And I comment out the first batch of code and, and it worked. And I went, oh, it's something in there. And it was just something in the way they called called something, like a naming of it. It just didn't work with modules. And when we changed it, <laughs> it worked. It was right, right in the first opening, opening paragraph, in a sense. It's like, oh my God, how lucky is that? And we've been trying for, for like a year I've had people trying to figure out how to get Box2D into modules and we couldn't get it. Like all these all these seasoned developers and we just couldn't get Box2D into the module pattern. And, and sure enough, <laughs> that was it. So uh, anyway, Socket.io, same kind of deal there, but 
uh, moving over to three, three JS is all three JS is all built in um, modules as well, and so here we are importing Zim from three JS. But if we want to use Orbit controls, then we um, are import importing them in this manner. Okay, and. There's also various loaders that you can bring in and the same kind of thing. Uh, look on the 3JS site for, for how to import stuff that's needed. We had to, to make this all work, we made a 3 underscore shim dot JS, which loads in things, which then loads in, you know, I was like, I, 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 I tell you, it wasn't terribly pleasant doing all of this stuff in the background to figure out how to do it. And it did take, uh, I don't know, we've been sort of monitoring it for a couple of years and just... Uh, and so finally we bit the bullet in a sense. And um, what, what we saw is people... Uh, what we saw were people on CodePen were just putting a module call to a certain library at the top, like... Um, uh, tween... whatever it's called, Greensock or something. Anyway, we just put this module call at the top, didn't even put any other scripts, and we're going, oh, that's that's really tidy, that's really nice. So, um, check it out. Hang on, I'll see if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Code pen. Right here, so now we've done it, and there it is. So here's code pen, import zim, from, from our ES6 module, right into the frame, and that's it. We don't even have to go, we used to have to go into settings and into JS and bring in our, our various JS scripts, but there's nothing in here. We didn't do any, nothing in there. This is it, that, that, and that runs Zim right in there. So this is what we were seeing others do, and that, that was sort of the kicker. It's like, oh, I wanna do that too. <laughs> and uh, so we have, there, 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 there it is, nice, huh? Um, that was 3JS, the cam one, same, same deal. There it is, just bring in Zim cam. The pizzazz module, a little bit different. We bring in pizzazz, but, oh, this is if we want to use pizzazz. Oh, is, that, is that it? I don't think we normally need to do that. So there's new pizzazz. So if we want to use the pizzazz namespace, then we do it this way. I can't remember if we have to do do that or not. Pizzazz namespace, maybe. Can't remember, but anyway, that, just follow that. Uh, the test module is called test, and what that does is it will, um, if you have an error, it will then be calling docs versions of CreateJS and docs version of Zim so we can read the proper line number of your error. So just change it to test and tell us what that, what line number is giving you the problem, and we may be able to help you debug that in Zim Slack. Zim Slack is where we do most of our debugging. You're welcome to come into Discord, though, and ask questions there, too, and that's fine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been a tour of the ES6 modules. It's pretty easy to put together, isn't it? And we've got that now in the code section. It's right there in as the template. Hopefully that will work well for you. Let us know. Oh, by the way, in a related, I suppose, in a related bubbling, if we go to the docs and hit updates, this part right here, ES6 modules, is all about the updates with some of those links that we mentioned. Here's information about them. So you can have a read over it there too in the updates. We're going to see pixel. We're going to see sign. Or we saw a site already. Color picker. We're going to see the color picker. We're going to see the chroma key. ESLint. So this relates to our modules. Uh, we caught about 1,000 sort of redefined or unused um, or not defined on occasion. <laughs> not too many of those. Um, using ESLint. Uh, so ESLint read through our whatever 70,000 lines of code and found 1,000 things that we fixed. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Some of them were a little bit serious. So these are the serious ones that were in there. It was stuff like in the keyboard, there was a reference to label rather than Zim label. If that's the case, and that's what most of these things are, in these ones, we referenced a rectangle rather than a Zim rectangle. That's kind of hard to do. 
because if we do that, um, it means that it might not work in the, uh, if you turn the Zim namespace on, ZNS, Zim namespace equals true. If you turn that on, then you've got to use Zim in front of everything. Well, so that that works, inside of Zim are, in, you know, we have to use Zim in front of everything. So even colors, you know, colors have to be Zim red, etc., to get that to work. So these are the cases that ES Lint found. And now that we know how that works and... Uh, <laughs> Before we heard about it, we heard about it. We had somebody do ES Lint on Zim, Stefan. Thank you, and uh, he solved some issues that we had. But there were many more, and it's just there's so many more that it was almost like, oh my god, we can't do this. Forget it. We're not going strict mode. So that's all strict mode as well. But for modules, it was needed because ES6 uh, either needed strict mode, I can't remember, or some of these issues were causing the modules not to work. So we had to go through and do those. And that was like several weeks worth of uh, work to clear all that stuff. And hopefully we've got it. At that point, that was another reason. At that point, we sort of said, well, geez, you know, we can't, we can't just patch this into NFT 01. Why don't we, uh, why don't we start a new version of Zim? <laughs> and welcome to Zim version zim zero zero so here, here we are in the updates indeed with our new version so that's wonderful zim zero zero there are the other versions now so you can jump down to those we ended at 10 but um we got the cat ones in there and the two nfts and then we've jumped to zim version zim zero zero catch you guys later this has been Dr. Abstract. Oh, I shouldn't say my name like that, should I? I was just looking for uh, <laughs> looking for this slide, so to speak, to, to pull up here. I'm Dr. Abstract. Oh, serious Dr. Abstract for what's bubbling at Zim. Uh, you're lucky I got to do that again. <laughs> I'm sure you love it. Do you all do it with me? So every anytime I go, I'm expecting you're going, aren't you? Uh, anyway, come join us, zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. Have a great day or night. Uh, take it easy. Hope, uh, hopefully you enjoy using ES6 modules. Let us know how it goes. Okay, cheers.